So speaking of how to get started, uh, this is just some one one ideas that I've picked up uh, at juggling festivals. First off, this is a pendulum poi. Um, this is from a hybrid of vendors, but it's a contact ball or a you know stage ball in the end and a fairly thick rope right into a handle. So it's almost kind of one piece feeling, uh, no swivels. And uh, I'll make a link to Homopoi. I've got, uh, they have some poi like this and I've got a referral program with them to save 5% support me. But uh, also feel free to post your favorite vendors. And there's a bunch who make uh, awesome pendulum poi. So uh, share your favorites. Well, the next thing with one poi, place you want to start is uh, typically with a no spin throw where you're just having the poi head and the handle go up together and come down together, which is easier said than done. What's great about this is it teaches you to control uh, what the head of the poi does and what the tail does. And then everything you do from there onward becomes a choice. A common one would be making a 180 degrees of spin in the air. So it comes, leaves your hand here, comes down here. And that really is all about the finesse of how the handle leaves your hand. But you can go so many places. I, I remember watching Ronin, who's done a lot of incredible throw work. Uh, first time I saw people doing really great throws with poi. And you know he does all kinds of things. He throws and puts a horizontal spin. Um, and I've seen people throw, you put back spin. There's so much you can do. But it's all based on having this as the starting point. Well, much harder in my left hand, that's for sure. Whee, okay. Like I said, I have a lot to practice. Um, when you've got that working on 180 degrees, where it leaves, and you catch it, leaves starts here, finishes there. It's also great to choose whether the poi drifts uh, horizontally. For instance, I could choose to have it not drift at all, where it comes straight up and straight down, and it's turning around the center of its own tether. You can also choose to have it carry through space where it starts over here and finishes over there. And maybe I jump over my arm in the process. Which brings us to the last 101 ID to share that the uh, kind of thing I think Drew Batchelor talks about a lot. And he'll talk about don't worry so much about catching, don't get good at catching, get good at throwing. Often you'll see people doing tosses and they kind of they throw and then they catch it and they throw and then they catch it and it's all they're always reaching and grabbing which if that's the style you want power to you um, it's not the style I want the style I want is I throw it such that it lands in the catching hand that means I'm getting good at throwing. A good way to practice that is that you don't you try not to move this hand. What I want to do is I want to throw, it's hard to not catch, but if I don't move the hand, I see, okay, I could have thrown four inches more. I throw, and that went two inches too far. <laughs> so that if I stop grabbing for it, um, or even if I do wait for the last moment, I'm paying attention to what went wrong with the throw. For me, this is going to lead to eventually consistently doing these rainbow throws that I quite like. Um, and I want to be able to do them two poi at a time and have them both land in the far hand um, like I controlled it with my mind. So I hope that gives uh, people something to start with if you're new at this. Um, and like I say, if you're not new at this, um, post away your favorite artists that we can follow.